morning. This is Coach Brian with Cause Vents and welcome to Coach's Corner. Today we're going to be discussing some of the things that you can train with and that you can race with. Uh, some of these things you can uh, combine together, but let's, just, let's start the discussion. Well, what are we talking about? We're talking about swim caps and, and hoods and things that you can wear on your head to stay a little warmer. Now here in San Diego, we train all year long and we've got the perfect climate for it. However, it does get a little chilly when you're in this coldest part of winter. So here in San Diego County, our water does get into the mid to low 50s in the coldest parts of winter, which we're pretty much into right now, but we can manage to train all year long <clears throat> with a wetsuit and a hood or um, he's got a plate uh, with a wetsuit, hood, swim caps, whatnot. Uh, you can manage to uh, pretty much train all year long and be ready for racing season in spring when it comes around. So let's start, and uh, we're going to start with basically the standard latex swim cap that you would get from a race when you're racing. These things are fairly inexpensive. They will last a, a period of time before they finally break and you have to get another one. They do provide a little bit of thermal protection, not a whole lot, but it does provide a little bit. So when you're cooling down, it's going to be a little more comfortable. Next thing we go to is the silicone swim cap. It's about three times as thick as this guy is here. It has a lot more stretch. Elasticity is great with this thing. It's going to last. This one has lasted me about two and a half, almost three years now. And I've only ever split one silicone cap. And that was after about three or four years. Uh, they do last a lot longer. This is a product made by Zoot. Uh, it's made for the San Diego Tri Club, uh, which is a club I belong to. Uh, these are... Uh, good caps. Now, one thing I do recommend is when you're out there training, if you're training in open water, wear a brightly colored swim cap. It does help with the visibility as well as your swim buoy. Uh, if you're out there training by yourself, make sure you're visible. If you're anywhere near where boats or kayaks, uh, paddle boarders can uh, mo be moving around you. They need to see you, so you have to have to come up with a way to be visible. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to go to yeah, yeah, is the thermal swim cap, yeah. and it just, yeah. and I, we've discussed this in the glove and sw swim hood thing, and it fastens over here. This is uh, a fabric and neoprene product. Uh, it has a nylon liner on the inside, and then it has neoprene uh, with fabric on it. This is is going to cover the ears. It's going to keep you pretty warm and there are a number of these made by various companies uh, you, uh, as well as the swim caps and I'm going to flash some pictures up here of different products you can see with the swim caps uh, and then with some of these thermal hoods and finally we're going to go to the diving hood now this is something that you, you only wear when the, for me the water's got to be below 55 degrees before I can really keep this on for any length of time, you're gonna get warm in it. Even in cold water, you're gonna get warm in it because you're trapping all that heat, you're swimming, you're generating heat. You've got a wetsuit on, you've got a hood on. Unless that water is below 50, I'd say below 57 degrees, you're gonna start to overheat pretty rapidly and that's not gonna be comfortable for you and you're probably gonna jump out, uh, go up on shore, and get your, your swim cap, because now you're overheated. Uh, your body's acclimated to the cold, so you're not, it's just going out and getting the right product and running back in. Now, one thing I will advise you, if you, you're wearing a black hood or a thermal swim cap, and you can get these in various colors. These are usually always black, but you can get these in various colors. Uh, Xterra makes them in green and orange. Uh, but if, if it's black, what I want you to do, Take a swim cap, pull over the top of it, just so you're visible. 
uh, I like to have my swimmers wearing a brightly colored swim cap. And, or, and uh, if they're novice, I will have them pulling a swim buoy as well because I want to be able to see them. I want to be able to count how many swimmers I still have out in the water. And if they're wearing a, a, a yellow or a, a hot pink swim cap, I'm going to spot them right away. Uh, if they're with a swim buoy, I'm going to spot them. Uh, probably, I could probably spot them at least a quarter mile away uh, from the shore. And that's if I'm not in the water myself, and uh, oftentimes I'm not. But uh, when I am, I make sure I have the high visibility swim caps on because I want to be seen. Uh, I want my swimmers to be seen. I don't want any boat hitting us. Uh, and I've seen, unfortunately, boats come into the swim area. They, some, some of the sailboats, they've got pretty novice uh, captains on there, and they just don't steer well. Anyway, uh, we want to just remind everybody that uh, this is, these are the products that you can use. You can use these in a race, provided you put the proper swim cap for your wave over the top of them. All right? Uh, unlike gloves, which have to be approved, and booties, which have to be approved by the race director, uh, these don't have to be approved. The only time you can't really wear something like this is when wetsuits aren't allowed. Uh, and if, if that's the case, the water's too warm, and they're worried about you overheating when you're swimming, and that's not going to be comfortable in the least if the water is that warm. You're going to be swimming much more efficiently with just your swim cap and your swimsuit uh, and maybe a shorty uh, well if it's not allowed you're not going to be in any kind of a wetsuit so those are your options uh, there's probably a few more out there uh, but I just wanted to pick up the four most common types so that you would have an idea of what we've got out there all right well if you like this kind of content and you want to support me like and subscribe Leave a comment. My contact information will also be at the end of this video where you can email me. You can find us online at some of the Facebook groups. Uh, I do work with Cause Events and at CauseEvents.com. They have all kinds of races ranging from running, cycling to triathlons. And you can, uh, if you're ever wanting to do a destination race in a really great destination, San Diego is the place for it's the home of the modern triathlon. So hopefully we get a chance to see you here. If you do come out for a race, uh, come out early and, and you can train with us. We have a Sunday, uh, Sunday swim every Sunday. Uh, the only time we're not there is on race day where I will be either racing, working, or officiating. Okay, well, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful time out there and train well. Bye. We'll have to take it away.